Nelly was presenting, moderating my sessions. She introduced you to uh, me to you, and she also said that we are friends and we met online. And since then, we are cooperating together in person and virtually. So uh, it is my pleasure to introduce, uh, to introduce the next presenter, blogger, to you, Tony Garth. Uh, he is an experienced teacher, trainer, consultant, and a learner with capital letters. Uh, welcome, welcome, Tony. Welcome, <laughs> Alina. Uh, everybody, great to see everybody. Uh, familiar faces and familiar names. Wonderful. So it's it's really uh, amazing what I'm reading now uh, about Tony. So is he's a, he worked with schools, colleges, higher institutions in the UK. Uh, Middle East, United I'm States, back. Australia, and Turkey. So he's Man. very, he's a really uh, okay. humorous, so wonderful play with words, and he's a linguist, if you can tell it. So he is a TLO, Chief Learning Man, Officer. Where, where, where have we got people from? So again, it's a pleasure, and a go ahead, is. Tony. Hello. Well, I'm 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 sort of sorting out my tech difficulties. <laughs> um, I've lost the chat box. Where is my chat box? It's on the bottom. It's on the bottom. It's on the bottom. Okay. If you, if, yes, you can see Spring Blog red, and then the next is chat. If you click on that, it will be chat. You see on the Where bottom. Is it? Yep. Uh, okay. Good. Got it. All right. Got it. Good. Okay. Um. Okay. Sorry. Another. I had a few technical difficulties before we started, but I seem to have. Hang on. One. Bedroom. Is that your bedroom or your room? We're right I'm there in there with you. So think of us as a hand Done. away. And Okay, good evening, everybody, or good morning, or good afternoon, or good ever, whatever it is, wherever you are. <laughs> um, now, let's just have a look. Where, where, where have we got people from? Let's just have a quick look at where everybody is. I'm in big, bad Istanbul. Where's Wayla Tom? Poland, Mexico. Lower the volume, just a second. Lowering the volume, okay. New York, Brazil. Is the volume okay now? Is everybody okay with that one? Okay. <laughs> okay, great, great. <laughs> All right, well, welcome to a session here. It's, it's sort of 10 at night on a Sunday. Um, I'm amazed, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm still awake. As, as you can see, I'm actually in my pajamas. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm usually asleep by this time. Um, but, but, but Nelly, Sylvia, and, and, and the gang, Shelly, um, managed to, to, to say, Tony, stay up and let's do a session on visual literacy. And I said, great, I'd love to. Um, I, I'd really love to. Um, the, 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 the thing I've got is I'm, I'm, I'm not going to pretend to be a super duper expert in, in visual literacy. There's, there's a lot of really smart guys out there who can do a far better job than, than I can do. 
Um, so I, I decided to to come at it at a, a more personal angle. Um, I was just listening to to the panel discussion an hour, two hours ago, and and sort of realizing how long some people have been blogging. Uh, I, I actually only started blogging three years ago, uh, but but sometimes it feels like it's thirty years. <laughs> um, so so in, in in some respects, when I look at some of the guys who've taken part in the festival, I mean I'm, I'm really a newbie, <laughs> um, and so I, I I feel a little bit like a fraud right now talking about visual literacy. Um, but but as I said, I mean I'm I'm going to do it from a very personal perspective. Um, and, 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 and for me, um, this graphic here just, just summarized what, what visual literacy is all about. It's that idea of, of, of a picture being able to represent a thousand words. Um, most, most of us are, are, are familiar with that. But when, when, when I think about my own blogging and, and, and what I've been doing, um, three things spring to, to mind. Uh, if you will, the 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 first one there is that whole idea of curation, you know, c collecting things, sorting through things, managing things, um, re re rejigging things that we learn and and adding elements to it. Um, the 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 other element is also the the design component and th and that notion of of literacy in design. Um, all of us are familiar with, with literacy in terms of reading and writing, but in, in our design work, in our, our, our blog work, um, it, it becomes quite powerful. And the, and the third one is, is also media fluency, not, not only being able to, to, to take things from different forms of media, um, but also um, being able to do things with with different types of media at the same time, and 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 that for me is really my 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 definition of what visual literacy is 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 all about. Um, another component is this one, and 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 for me, this is the one that becomes really important. It's 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 playing. It's having fun with with what you're doing. Having fun with your 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 blog. Having fun with connecting with people and, and, and being yourself in, in a way. And, and, and that's why I use this phrase about letting the little boy inside come out and play. Um, I, I, I think that's one of the things that keeps us young. It's one of the things that keeps us interested and interesting. Um, and, and, and blogging, or, or as I call, bloggery, um, is, is, is one of the things that helps me do these things. Um, now, let's just move on. This, this here actually um, is, is, is a, little, a little image that I put together, that I curated, um, that, that really shows a lot of those things. You, you can see what I've done here. I, 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 I took an image from, from Paul. I, I, I took a quote from Ursula. Um, and, and added something myself. And it was something that I did on the blog. Um, uh, a couple of posts we were doing about, about creativity, and 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 in a way, this, this sort of captured for me what what visual literacy was 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 all about. And um, th 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 there's also a, a personal touch to this because I'm I'm a bit of a geek. I'm a, I'm a 50 year old science fiction cartoon geek who happens to be in education. And <laughs> loves blogging. So, so, so for me, this this image captured what 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 visual literacy is 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 for me. Um, and and I think this this quote here from 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 Kirby um, is is the other side of of that coin. You know, when, when we talk about visual literacy, a lot of people feel that it's all about being original, being totally new, being totally different, imaginative, but. At, at the end of the day, you know, nothing is original. Um, nothing is um, wholly new. I mean, we're, we're just building on what other people have 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 done before. We're, we're just co-creating new things from a lot of the stuff that have helped us learn and, and inshallah, um, feed into the things that we are, are using to help other people learn if you will.
Okay. I need a drink of water. Um, and, 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 and what happened? So providing all of these alternatives. Um, all right. The, the, the reason why I decided to make this a bit of a personal story um, my, my, myself um, was because when, when, when I was a young student, um, I, I, I kind of went to, 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 to a pink flowed school. Um, now, I'm really glad none of my teachers are on this, this webinar because they weren't all that bad. Um, it, it, it was kind of a an experimental educational priority area school we had in, in, in Manchester in the 70s. Um, and, and, and this was one of the first community schools that, that, that were set up to help working class kids perform well. Um, and, and it was a great school. I had some great teachers. The, the only problem was is that I was so interested in the, in the arts. Um, I, 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 I love drawing. I love painting. Um, I, I, I love drama, I, I, I love theatre, I love cinema, and, and as an experimental school, they had... Oh, Tom, you were in Bury, okay. I, I, I grew up in, in Blakely on the Rochdale Road. <laughs> um, and, 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 and what happened, they, they were providing all of these alternatives um, for us, um, but Lots of my teachers were also saying, no, Tony, stay away. Stay away from that artistic stuff. Um, <laughs> and and, and one, of the, one of my favorite teachers, actually, I, I, I loved him to bits, actually used this phrase. You're never going to bloody job with all that crap, lad. And, and, and it was actually what, what, one of the things that my, my, my father, my family said to me too. We, we, we never actually had anybody in the family who'd gone on and done well at school or gone to university. Um, so, so <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I, I was kind of the, um, I don't know, the, the bright kid that was supposed to do everything that everyone was supposed to do. But in, indirectly, they, they, they actually stomped on a lot of the things that I wanted to do. I mean, I was told to, to focus on the maths, to focus on the economics, um, and, and, and to do all the things that everyone was supposed to do. So, so in, in, in a way, what, what happened with the, the visual literacy that I think I was supposed to develop when I was a young kid uh, was that it, it, it never really happened. But the, 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 the beauty is, is that I was able to rediscover it through um, my own blogging um, in my mid-40s <laughs> as, as, as I sort of creep to my 50s. Um, and, and, and that's the personal side of it, I think. And, and that's why I went with the, the, the title that we're sort of seeing today. Uh, you, you, you can see here in, in my blog, I actually refer to myself quite a lot as Tony Hodger. And um, Hoxha is, is actually a, a, a Turkish uh, term of endearment. It, it, it shows respect and love for, for, for teachers. Um, and, you know, I, I, I love referring to my, my, my friends in education as, you know, um, Mehmet Hocam, Ökesh Hocam, Kezban Hocam. Um, and yes, Tom, you are a, a Hodges Hocam. <laughs> Um, and, 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 and this was actually a little, a, a little graphic that I prepared for, for, for the blog. Um, and what I'm going to do now, you're going to hate me for this, I'm going to say it's activity time. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a few quick questions. There's four of them there. Now, let's have a look. Hi, Sylvia. Let's have a quick look. And let's post some answers to these questions. John, why did I create this new logo? What do you think? I was feeling very blue. <laughs> I love that song, by the way. Why did I create this logo? Digital identity. Shelley, I love you. I love you. <laughs> or persona. Yeah, it was an, an, an avatar. I was using it to practice my, my visual literacy. Yeah, Ludmilla, definitely. Definitely. Mm -hmm. right. What about the second question? What software or tools did I use, do you think? 
An avatar generator. Whoa, Shelly knows her stuff. Cost me nothing, Stella. Cost me nothing. Anything free, I love. <laughs> All right. How long do you think it took me to, to prepare this? How long? Five days, six days. Two minutes, Shelly. I'm not that fast. Veronica, five minutes. You're closer. <laughs> 10 minutes, Tom, Tom, nearly there, nearly there. All right, and what about the cost? How much did it cost me, do you think? How much? Zero, nothing. Time, yeah, it was a bit of time. Yeah, all right, let me just show you. Um, it was actually, as Shelley pointed out, it was an avatar generator. Advertise yourself. I love this one. I mean, I, I actually love the movie. And, and one of my friends, Anna Christina, switched me on to, to, to this one. Anna Christina, are you here? I didn't see you. No? Okay. Um, but, but basically, all I needed was a, a, a good headshot photo, but looking directly, actually. That, that was one of the, the requirements. Um, using advertise yourself again totally free um, step three was was something called clipping magic now clipping magic is something that just allows you really easily to remove the background there okay and then um, just dropped it into PowerPoint to be able to get the graphics and using the smart art function um, to, to get the circle around here and, and, and set it up and then exported it you know um really easy took me i think tom was closest 12 minutes cost me nothing um and i've been able to use it in in in, in my classes in the presentations i do and and all over the blog but i think this was the thing that was most important for me it was fun it was fun and and, and that's what visual literacy is supposed to be about you know we're supposed to have fun creating we're supposed to have fun blogging um as well as learning <laughs> i love this one this one wasn't one of my graphics it actually came from a, a website called at break um but i loved it for its simplicity i've, I've you actually used it on the blog um, and i think it shows what visual literacy is all about it's about having fun it's about experimenting it's about trying a few things out um but i think that also mirrors learning too you know this is what learning is about you know you you, you don't go from a to b um in terms of success we, we we play around we make mistakes um we we, we we do stuff with other people you know and and that's what success really looks like and, and i think this was the thing that i found when when i started uh, blogging too all right so first question why a bloggery uh, a, a lot of people don't like <laughs> uh, don't like the fact that I, I i don't use blogging very much i refer to it as bloggery um and uh you know as i said before i started blogging about about three years ago so i'm, I'm relatively new um, and, and did as I was, was, was sort of like thinking about getting into bloggery, I, I read, you know, loads and loads of blogs. I just reviewed them for, for ages. And, and one of the things that came up, um, and, and this was a graphic that I, I put together for the blog, was that I, I was finding so many people were, were, were getting into bloggery um, for their own reflection. Um, it, it, it was to promote their own reflective practice. Um, and, 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 and for me, in education at least, I'm not talking about commercial blogs or commercial websites, this, this was one of the things that struck me about blogging in education, um, just, just the idea that so many teachers were interested in reflecting on their own practice, um, and, 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 and that was one of the things that stood out for me. I, I think the other, the other thing that I noticed was that it, it was about connecting, um, it was about looking um 
but uh, looking for, for for similar people out there in the blogosphere, people that we could we could connect with, um, and that that was also something that that stood out for me. It was this idea of maybe finding people I could connect with as well, people that I could you know learn and and and, and share with, and and this is another thing that. Um, a lot of bloggers talk about educational bloggers, teacher bloggers, teacher learners, um, if you will. Uh, the, the, the other thing was that a lot of these people were, were really interested in, in, in learning. Um, but this is one of the favorite, one of my favorite graphics that I, I, I use quite a lot on, on my own blog. And I think it, 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 it summarized a lot of these things. Um, that, that, that we recognize as teachers is that re real learning is not the same as content. Co content can be delivered. Learning can never be delivered. It's, it's, it's got to be co-created. It, it, it's got to be worked on um, with people, through people. Um, but m m myself, if I was really, really honest, um, the, 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 the reason I, I started blogging is, is, is actually on my, my little bloggery manifesto that, that I put on the front page of my blogging. Um, it, it, it was mostly because I, I found a lot of really good blogs. Um, they, they were sharing lots of ideas. Um, they, they were helping teachers with, with what we call the, the Monday morning syndrome. You know, they, they were giving people ideas to take into to the classroom. But, but the thing that I was missing, uh, I, I think, was, was a blog that Help me think. Um, that, that that challenged me. That pushed me a little bit. Um, that that made me question a lot more. And and, and so that, that's really what I was thinking. I was thinking. I, I want my blog to be able to do that. I, I want my blog to be able to to help people challenge themselves. Um, Stella, you mentioned the word nurturing. That that would help people. Um, nurture themselves and, and, and by the very process, you know, nurture me too. And, and, and so that, that's what I wanted to, to, to do. It was this, this idea of have a blog that, yeah, helped people with the Monday morning syndrome, but also made people think about what that Monday morning syndrome could be. Um, and, and, and that's what I wanted to do. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if I've been successful. You know, it's still a, a, a work in progress. Um, but, but, but that was that was my aim, I, I, I think. And, you know, I've, I've, I've sort of used graphics like this to, 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 to stress that oh, if you if, if, if you want to read the blog, this is what we're going to do. Um, and, 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 and this is the way we're going to approach um, co-learning, co-creation together. But of course, in, in, in the early days, you know, I, I had to find my, my bloggery legs, like, like, like a sailor. <laughs> I had to sort of get on the boat and see how it worked and uh, see, see if I could find a, 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 a way that, that met that purpose that I'd established for myself. Uh, now, I've, I've, I've put up here that these were actually two of the first visuals that I, I used in my, my, my posts. You, you, you can actually see here, even in very early things, um, the, 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 the kind of way I was thinking, um, the, the, the kind of challenges I wanted to present to people through, through things like the language school and, and, and using cartoons like this. Um, but I, I, I was never fully satisfied with them. Um, there, 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 there was um, another one that I, I sort of put up it again. The, the, these were possibly the, the first couple of blog posts that I did. Um, again, using cartoons like this, um, and and again, I was choosing cartoons that reflected the way I was thinking, um, the, the 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 way I wanted to encourage people to to think and challenge themselves a little bit. But I was also doing a lot of work with with mind maps. I was using um, Mind Manager. Uh, software at the time to present a few of these ideas, um, and, and and you can see here even very earlier on it was it was the idea of effective teachers that that was a big a big theme for me. 
and I, 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 I used these for, for some time. I mean, this, this one here was, was also in a very early post that I did. Um, I, I think it was called My Way or The Highway. And, and, and I was talking a little bit about um, organizational culture, the culture in the schools, colleges, and universities that we work in, and, and what it had to be. And, and you know, I was I was developing my mind manager skills <laughs> quite a lot. But then, I, 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 as I was preparing for, for this session, I went back to a more recent post. And this was the same slide that I'd prepared uh, a, a short while ago, but more for the discussion on 21st century skills. And, and it was interesting for me to compare the two of these things, um, to, to look at the style that I, I, I developed later on. And, and that's what I was saying earlier about the, the whole notion of success, is a, a, a lot of the basics are still there, um, but it was how I, I sort of evolved my, my, my style um, uh, so that it was much more visual, so that it had a little bit more impact um, than, than my original work did. And, and, and that's something that, that's still going on. I mean, I, I, I change things all the time. I, I, I even go back and change a few of my blog posts and, and repost them. Um, not only with new graphics and images, but, but, but also with new ideas that I've picked up or, or that people have, have sent me as well. So it's that kind of, yeah, you know, the spaghetti I showed you before, the success spaghetti, um, it's, is, is very true, so true in, 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 in blogging. Let's move on. And I'll have another drink of water. Um, as I got into blogging into the, the, the first couple of months, I, I started to experiment a little bit more. Um, I, I, I wanted to use my, my, my own sense of humor. You know, I wanted that to come through. Um, and uh, I, I started to do some, some, some more images like this. Um, I, I, I love the whole idea of, 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 of Max and, and what they were sort of doing. But I think behind this, there, there was a more serious message. And, and that was the thing. I, I, I was possibly trying to use visual literacy to, to get across serious messages. And I found it was a lot easier to do it through graphics. Um, and I could have fun doing it, but the thing I noticed was when I started to use images like this, my blog suddenly became very popular. Um, I, I, I wasn't doing the blog to, to become popular, but it, it's always nice for it to be recognized. Um, and, and that was the thing for me, is that because I was using more and more visuals, you know, the, the things I wanted to do were perhaps touching a few more people. Um, and, and, and this was, was more important with some, some, some other more serious subjects, like, like curriculum and the, 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 the pressure that we teachers face to try and keep up with the, the curriculum, uh, with, with the assessment issues that, that we face. And, and they were also things that I wanted to, to build into the, the, the blog. Um, this, this one here, actually, took me hours. <laughs> and people look at it and they say, well, you're not that off in, in 10 minutes, Tony. But it was, it was amazingly difficult to, to, to put together in the, in the early days. Um, but I think it paid off uh, with, with other slides later on. Um, technology was something I was, I was interested in. And you, you, could, so you can see my, my, my logo here. Um, you know, and, 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 and using nice graphics and, and, and ideas to get across something that, you know, might take me 500, 1,000 words to do. I, I, I was able to do very quickly um, in, in, in just a single graphic. Yeah. Um, things, things like this. You, you, you can see that I, I, I was actually learning a great deal um, and, and, and starting to put together more, more, more complex, more, complex, more um, intriguing graphics at the, at the same time. So I was, I was attempting to, to use a few ideas that would make, make teachers think, um, but doing it in a much more impactful way. 
Uh, yeah, definitely. Dogs with a blog. <laughs> like my dog Dexter is he's still working that out. I don't know how much success we'll get. <laughs> um, I, I, also, I, I, I started to use the graphics a lot more um, to, to speak to people. This was the thing. I mean, I, I started to do a lot more, more things like this. Very, very nice graphics. That, that, that I would find or I would buy, and some of them are bloody expensive. Um, but to, to, to actually use the graphics to speak directly to people, um, the, 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 this was a question, for example, that um, I used in a, a, a post on vocabulary learning. Um, and, and it was, I, I, what, what I found was rather than just using text and words, using graphics to talk to people um, was, was something that was, was was very useful and, and people responded to it very well. Okay, uh -huh. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move on a little bit um, and have a drink of water. Um, to talk a little bit about the, 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 the benefits of, of, of visual literacy. Uh, now, the, <clears throat> the, the thing I've was not just it was the creative thing for me, the little boy coming out and, and, and helping me enjoy. Uh, blogging a wee bit more. Um, it, it, it was also to, to, to do with the fact that I could communicate creativity um, through a lot of these things. Um, I, I love this quote from, from Albert Einstein, but the, the idea was was to, to, to use a quote but also use appropriate image and, and also give a sense of movement, a, a, a sense of progression of a very profound idea in, in a visual sense. Uh, and this is where this came from. And, and, and this for me was one of the big, biggest benefits of um, using more visuals in my, in, in my blogging. Uh, the, the other thing was, was for example, to, to develop my own graphics for things I wanted to talk about. This was a very early one that I, I, I did where I wanted to talk about the difference between real learning and surface or superficial learning. And again, it was just so much easier to do it in a single graphic. Um, th things like this, this other graphic here, we're, we're, we're also um, looking at ways to adapt um, the graphics of others because sometimes I, I, I looked at a lot of graphics, but I needed to adapt it slightly to be able to say what I, I, I wanted to say um, to people. Um, so I was able to adapt other people's graphics too. Um, which was a, a, a great benefit. Um, some, something like this was, was one. Again, an, another post I did on, on creativity, and I was talking about um, a, a, a huge bit of research, for example. Now, to actually sit down and put this in words would have taken me a, 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 a long time. Um, but just to turn you know, a very complex study into a single slide that people could get immediately was 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 one of the things that worked um, really well for, for for me, but also for for a lot of readers too. Now, again, when when you actually look at something like this, it looks very simple, um, but this one actually contained a, a, a number of elements. I mean, just putting the question together um, was 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 the hard part, and then importing a graphic into a graphic um, it takes a bit of time. But once you get into it, um, it becomes much, much, much easier to do much faster. Okay. Um, this, this was another one. I, I, I talked before um, about a number of my posts being focused on, on technology and 21st century skills. I mean, if we look at the literature of 21st century skills, you, you, you can probably write millions and millions of pages. So just being able to produce a single slide that captured um, all of the main skills that people were talking about, and then adding in something that was important to me as 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 a teacher, as an educator, um, was 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 something I really um, wanted to do. Uh, huh, another one here. This 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 was something I, I I did because as as I was getting into into blogging, I was also getting more and more into social media. So a lot of the posts I started to do 
um, we're, we're, we're using some of the social me media learning I, I was sort of going through. This, this was something taken from um, ELT chat. Um, and, and you can see here, a lot of people do. They, they do screenshots of uh, the tweets that, 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 that people um, get out on Twitter. But I, I, I just wanted to do it in, in, in a more user-friendly way with speech bubbles, using the logo so that people could see where, where, where it came from. Um, and also, you know, giving people a link that they could go to. Again, something like this um, takes a long time, <laughs> but I, I, I think it's worthwhile. I think it's worthwhile. But the, the, the problem I found with, with some of these is once I do them, I, I don't really use them ever again. <laughs> um, so it's a, it, it's, it's a bit of a trade-off. It's a bit of a trade-off. Okay, this, this was a more recent one that I, 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 I did a post. Um, it, it was actually a, an upgrade of, a, of an earlier post, and, and what we were doing was, was looking at the idea of how many hours it takes to learn English. And so I, I was able to produce a, a, a very simple chart here talking about what most people will say. With another graphic, um, I introduced um, outliers, uh, outliers and, 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 and Malcolm's work with the, the, the 10,000 hours. Um, there's also an, a, a, another blogger that I, I, I like, um, Sarah, had, had done another post on the scenarios, you know, how, how many hours this would mean and um, the number of years that it would involve. Um, and then personalize it a little bit here in, in, in Turkey and talk about um, some of the uh, scenarios that we could develop here for, for, for ourselves. Now, if I'd attempted to do this in just words, um, it would have been, oh, <laughs> the blog post would have been 5,000 words long, you know, a, a mini thesis, if you will. But again, um, the visuals allowed me to convey a very, very complex set of data and ideas um, very easily, very quickly, um, and it, it, it worked well. You know, a, a, a lot of people really liked um, that particular post. Um, a, 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 another one is, is just powerful quotes that I pick up. I, I, I just think a quote becomes so much more powerful when it has a, an, a, an image behind it. I mean, um, Abby here, I, I, I love this quote, and, and, and just, you know, putting the, the, the thunking monkey in the background um, just just lifted it to to another level. This this one from Tolstoy is is one of my favorite favorite quotes ever um, because it touches. Yeah, it touches. Sorry, Sylvia, I missed that one. <laughs> um, it, it it just touches for me what education is all about. Um, and this graphic was amazing. I I, I just think it, it it fits so well with the quote. Um, if I could, I, I, I would put it in uh, <laughs> every single blog post that I do. Um, others, are, 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 I think, said so this is the technology quote that we're still trying to find out who actually said this. <laughs> I don't think we actually found out who said this one. Um, excuse me. Uh, and also, so, sort of creating my, my, my own quotes. Well, actually, I, I curated half of it and then added another little bit, but removed a few of the key words and, and just added an image um, just to, to, to sort of, I don't know, bring it home, make it more interesting, make it more, more human. Um, this, this one here is, is also one of, one of my favorites. I, I've, I've used it a lot because I, I think it conveys the the, the, the spirit of, of, of teachers and educators and, and, and how powerful, how influential we can be on the lives of, 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 of others. Um, absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Especially when you get to my age and you realize that age doesn't matter. You know, the shadow, the shadow you cast on others um, is the thing that's important. Okay, uh, the, uh, my voice, my blogging voice. I, I, I talked about how my style developed there a little bit. 
Um, but the voice is 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 important. What what one one thing that um, I, I actually did. I mean, even though I've been involved in in in, in Turkey for about thirty years, I, I I came to Turkey in in 1983, 1984, um, and 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 Turkey has become a big part of my life. But but I actually took 15 years out. I, I was traveling. I was working in 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 different places, and, and when I came back, it, it was very important to me that my my, my blog had the Turkish voice. Um, and, and so you can see in a lot of my graphics, um, I do actually use Turkish. And in the early days of, of the blog, I, I would actually use Google Translate and, and, and hot link certain phrases that I was doing to, to help people um, learn Turkish. Uh, but, but this one here re refers to my, my marital status, that the Hanım Kola. Um, he who lives in the village of his woman. <laughs> uh, it, it, it's very popular. Um, uh, the, the, this one here is a, a little bit more difficult to translate, but it, it, basically it means, you know, let's get down to business. Let's look at the real stuff. Let's look at the, the vitamins and nutrients in, in the things that we're, 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 we're sort of doing. Um, but, but as I said, it was, it was the idea of... Um, Turkey being very important for me and my, my, my blog having a, a, a Turkish voice. A lot of people will, 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 will see me use Janem Türkiyem quite a lot. You know, um, I, 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 I often use it to, to speak to people again, good morning. Um, I, I, I often, you know, take my own pictures of, of big, bad Istanbul and turn them into, in, into graphics here. Um, and, and, and that became a a big part of my voice, uh, uh, something I wanted actually. Um, but a, 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 another part of my voice was was that idea of the the George Orwell quote of, of telling the truth. You know, if 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 we were going to to challenge people to be better than they are, if we're going to challenge people to 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 learn and grow, it's very important to 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 tell the truth. So in in some of the things that I would I would create for the blog. Um, I was actually challenging um, a, a lot of the things that I, I personally I, I, I feel are wrong. Um, I mean, turning an educational system into a testocracy or an examocracy is something that's very close to my heart. Um, and, and I use the visuals to, to, to hammer those messages home. I mean, don't apologize for that at all. <laughs> um, other subtle things. For example, we're, we're, we're challenging teachers to, to think about what they were doing in their classrooms, whether they were just collecting a bag of tricks for Monday morning, or whether they were thinking about the learning behind um, the tricks and the materials that we, we, we were using, because that, that for me was more important. Rather than just taking materials and lessons from others, actually thinking about what lay behind them, thinking about how they, they, they matched with, with what our students need um, was, was, was quite important for me. Again, another message. Um, this, this quote I love, um, and, and again, a lot of people will have seen things very similar to this, and, and I'll sort of say to people, look, this, this thing here was, was, was written 30 years ago. Is it still true today? Yeah, it is still true today. Um, because we still, as a profession, place a lot more emphasis on teaching than we do on learning. Sad. But something we can do something about. Uh, another part of my voice was, was actually talking about who, who Tony the man was, if, if, if you will. Um, you know, I think it's very important that you, you connect with people um, at a personal level. You know, if I was going to say things, I was going to try and be honest about who I was, and 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 a big part of that is 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 my daughter, <laughs> um, my dog, my daughter's in the background, <laughs> my, my family and my life, and so I, I I did actually put a lot of those things into the blog as well. My my daughter hated me whenever I did it, um, and 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 my wife often gave me a hard time, but I I, I just felt it was important. Um, uh, I, another component was also the things that I like. 
Um, I, I've got guilty pleasures like most people. <laughs> Does she look like me, Sylvia? Thank you. She's got the nose. <laughs> She's far more beautiful than I am. Um, ah, the voice and video has gone. Okay. If, if you have trouble with it, just step back out and, and try and come back in. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to have to rush here because we, we, we haven't got a lot of time left. Sorry, I've been talking far too much. Um, but using TV shows that I like was, was, was one thing. As I said, I'm a comic geek. You know, using my history as a, <laughs> as a child. Using my music uh, was another one. And, and again, messages within the music. Okay. Um, but also using the, the, the voices of others. To, to sort of amplify my, my own voice. Um, again, with things like this, being, being honest, you know, talking about my own weaknesses as a, as a young teacher, you know, the, the ego I had, the arrogance I had, um, until I realized that I needed to do more about learning. Yeah? Uh, um, okay, motifs, themes in my blog. I'm going to rush through. I'm going to rush through very quickly. I, I wasn't looking at the time. Sorry. Yeah, Ludmilla. Um, I, I, I didn't realize. Okay. Um, big motifs. Questioning. Big part of my blog is questioning, using quotes like this. Um, you, you, using questions as, as, as part of the driving force um, behind the post that I do. One of my favorite ever questions here. Um, also, using those questions directly, I, I, I use a lot of things from, from other people as well. Um, obviously, the blog is called All Things Learning, so a, a, a lot of the posts and a lot of the graphics I, I, I are using, what we're talking about, what makes us good as teachers, what makes us good as educators. Yeah. Um, this one, a, 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 a more recent one, actually, I'm, I'm working on a couple of guest posts. Um, the, the, the notion of the learning teacher is, is a very big thing for me. This graphic here, even though it looks beautiful, <laughs> it's actually down to the image. Took me literally one minute to, to, to put together. Nice graphic, one sentence, very easy to do, but it's powerful as a slide. Um, other, other motifs actually come. Uh, I, I, I do some presentations as a trainer, as a, a consultant. Somebody actually left this post-it on my laptop. <laughs> um, and, and, and I think it, it sort of shows one of the things that I do build into the blog quite a lot. I love this book from, from Ian Gilbert, The, the Thunks. And that, that was something um, that, that I really wanted to build into the blog. I wanted people to thunk. You know, to look at some of the questions that I was asking, and and for it to hurt their brains a little bit. Um, so so I used I used a lot of these um, uh, as as Ian Gilbert said as as a way to shake things up a little bit. You know, get people to to look at things slightly differently, and the visual literacy really helped here. Um, this one, love it. Again, took no time to prepare. Um, but as part of a, a warmer to a blog post, it's very powerful. Um, some of the questions that I also use here. Again, these question slides, um, okay, they, initially they were difficult to put together, but what, once you have a, a, a group of them to work with, it's fine. Very easy to do. Yeah. Um, other things like this. Some of the questions that I, I, I put here weren't, weren't just flippant things to make people thunk. They were serious questions um, that I wanted people to, 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 to ponder. Um, covering our curriculum, uh, a big issue. Motivation, one of the big issues for so many, quest uh, so many teachers uh, is just how do we motivate them? You know, actually telling people, you cannot motivate anybody, so stop trying. Um, it's, it's quite a big thing um, and confuses a lot of people at the same time. Okay. Um, I think another thing I wanted to do was, was also talk about some of the fears that we have as teachers. Um, I know I have a lot of fears. I have a lot of worries. Um, doing a webinar like this scared the hell out of me. <laughs> um, but, but, but actually, 
using interesting graphics like these um, is, is, is a way to, to, to humanize some of those questions. I think it makes them a, a, a little bit more um, easier to digest if you if, if you are. <laughs> the brain, the brain is a big issue for me. I, I said I wanted it to be a reflective blog. I wanted people um, to, to, to think about critiquing themselves and their own practice. Yes, Sylvia, uh -huh. the, the, the self-critique is, is, is really important. So I tended to use a, a, a lot of things with good brains in them. Um, this one, one of my favorites. But behind this one was also an, another motif that comes out in the, in, in, in the blog. And, and that's the notion of, of critiquing our universities. Um, a lot of our universities don't do a good job. Um, sorry. <laughs> Um, so, so I, I actually wanted um, to challenge people in those institutions, people who were more an academic than they, 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 they were um, a, a thinking teacher for other learners. So, so that actually became a, a, a big motif and a, a lot of the guest posts or people that I work with um, follow up with things like like, like these as well. Okay, I'm conscious of time. Uh, this is, a, is is another one, you know, have, having a look at um, challenging what we're actually doing in terms of our quality processes and our systems. Um, the visuals, again, help drive home, you know, what is a, a, a very simple point and, and, and get people to say, you know, learning is not just the student's job, it's, it's the institution's job, it's the teacher's job, um, and the visuals help. Okay, change is another one, change is, is, is another theme that's in the blog. Again, I, I, I use a lot of more complex graphics here. This is beautiful, absolutely love it. Um, but again, the, the, the change series here actually got me in trouble with the publisher because I, 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 I stole their model, even though it was my book. <laughs> um, I, I, I do have plans to write a whole series of these books. I don't know if I'll ever get around to it. I spend far too much time blogging. Um, the change idea is there as well, but also asking a lot of those thinking questions that I talked about. Yeah, education has changed, but has the education in our schools really changed. Um, literacy is a big one, just as I'm talking about visual literacy today, assessment literacy, curriculum literacy. This was the series I told you about. Uh, Wiley and Sons, I don't think will ever publish me because I've, I've stolen their images. <laughs> I do give them credit, always. Uh, the assessment thing also came through in what I was saying, communicating with, with people in the blog, uh, actually creating images that give people tests. Um, giving them multiple choice tests when they're reading something about assessment. <laughs> uh, I, I love doing those things. Yeah. Ah, the little boy in me again. Yeah. When I first started my blog, everyone was asking me, Tony, is this a teaching blog, a learning blog, or a Star Wars blog? It's me. It's what I like. Um, but it's actually interesting how we can we, we can link the two of them. Yeah. All right, but I always try and come back to serious questions. <laughs> okay, now I actually think I'm running out of time now and I'm not going to be able to get to the bloggery secrets. Um, are we there? <laughs> but I think what we will do, we will pop.